Two Florida men are feuding. Uh, that's right, Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis is getting started early uh, here. Um, specifically, what's happened is that a Trump super PAC, I didn't know there were any left, um, but uh, MAGA Inc. is one that is left, is bringing a complaint against the Florida Election Board uh, about Ron DeSantis and the fact that he has not formally declared his candidacy for president, but everybody knows he's running and isn't this kind of illegal, don't you have to declare? And in fact, you do. Um, so they say um, that Governor DeSantis's failure to declare his candidacy is no mere oversight, reads MAGA Inc. Um, this is a complaint to the Commission on Ethics, which is fun, Florida Commission on Ethics. I thought that I was like obliterated under the Stop Woke Act. Act like ethics, <laughs> that sounds woke. Anyway, um, it continues, it is a coordinated effort specifically designed for him to accept as unethical gifts, illegal campaign contributions and certain personal benefits. The pro Trump super PAC, which sent the complaint via certified mail on Wednesday is asking the state commission to impose the most severe penalties under Florida ethics law, which include among other things, impeachment, removal from office, public censure, and ballot disqualification. I mean, shoot your shot. You know, like what? Pull it all out. Just do it. Get See get down and dirty early with the ethics committee and commission. So, Jackson and I didn't know this, but it is true that you cannot fundraise, um, truly fundraise for an election unless you declare first. You can have what's called an exploratory committee. You can have this exploratory moment. But apparently once you raise over a certain amount, and I believe on the federal level, that's as little as $5,000, you gotta declare, you gotta say, this is what I'm about to do. So what do you think? Do you think there's a chance? Do you think Florida, the ethics committee commission is gonna, is gonna hand it to their own governor? Probably not, but the thing is, is that there's actually some meat here just in terms of you know him possibly potentially going about things unethically. And one of the things that I've been covering and we've been covering across this uh, entire network is how a lot of what Trump is doing is actually rather effective. As goofy mm. as he may be, as much as we may laugh at him, he was just on the campaign trail uh, nailing Ron for his votes against Social Security and Medicare, uh, railing against the GOP at large and uh, popular figures within the Republican Party. He had a five step plan on how he's gonna go after DeSantis. And DeSantis, as we're pointing out now, who hasn't even announced his campaign yet, the longer time that goes by that he doesn't do it, the more he's going to have to come out strong, mm -hmm. charismatic. You know, he's gonna have to have the juice and the sauce that we've never seen him have before. <laughs> and that matters. It really does, especially like we point out, Donald Trump, this is his he's like a, a, a dog with rabies in a room that everyone's trying to avoid. 2024 <laughs> is it for him. Everyone else has many years ahead of them. So, you know, it's kind of like the Republican Party essentially is kind of handing Donald Trump the nomination because they won't even condemn him on January 6th. So what are right. they gonna say? He tweets too much, it's not looking good. No, no, you're right. I mean, I personally agree with you. I think that DeSantis has a hard road ahead of him. I think everybody admits that. And I think Republicans are sort of stuck with Trump, whether they like it or not. Um, but what's interesting about this whole pivot and move is actually a Democratic group accused Trump's campaign of doing the exact same thing back in 2024, um, not filing even though he was clearly running. Um, sorry, not, not that, but before that, um, behaving like a presidential candidate while avoiding, excuse me, before this election cycle, before he officially announced. So dude was doing the same thing just recently. <laughs> um, but, and the, there's, some, there's some folks who are defending DeSantis in this and Interestingly, they're the same ones who are fundraising for him. Um, but his communications director, Tarin, Tarin Fensk, this is DeSantis's, said they're quote, this is adding to the list of frivolous and politically motivated attacks. It's inappropriate to use state ethics complaints for partisan purposes. Interesting, just before we leave the state ethics commission in Florida behind, you must know that of the nine members on that commission, five of them were appointed, appointed by Ron DeSantis himself. So do we think that they are going to take seriously a claim that DeSantis needs to be uh, announcing his candidacy and declaring it, otherwise he will face impeachment? No, that is not. probably not gonna happen. <laughs> They've been handpicked for that reason. But, and this is from um, one of the uh, heads of his, of DeSantis's pack, because he's got his own packs, of course. 
Ken Cuccinelli, um, who's a former DHS official under Trump actually, um, put out this statement. He said, the overwhelming response we received to building a DeSantis grassroots effort is exciting and I'm sure intimidating. No wonder the folks on that campaign are nervous, they should be. The MAGA movement is excited to look to its next chapter in future conservative leadership. They are excited at the potential of a President Ron DeSantis. Okay, buddy, but you see what you just did there? Cuz like, is he running or not? You've got a pack for Ron DeSantis, so he is, but he hasn't declared, you're not helping the case here. So again, everyone is just like, we're ever just kind of like false start, false start. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.